Ahoy, shipmates! You have just set sail aboard the proud Columbia, an exact replica of the first American vessel to completely circle the globe. On December 24, 1998, at 10.40 a.m., the sailing ship Columbia came into dock to load the first passengers of the day. An employee placed the docking rope on the cleat when the ship was approaching too fast to stop at the dock. Ride procedures call for the ship's captain to reverse the ship if it overshoots the dock so that it may approach at correct speed. When the line became too taut, it snapped the 8-pound cleat off of the ship like a rubber band, sending it flying into the crowd of visitors, causing two visitors critical injuries. Luan Fi Dawson, 48, and Lu Vong, 34, were in critical condition with head injuries. A cast member, Christine Carpenter, 30, had an injured left ankle. Both Lou and Christine were released a few weeks later from the hospital. On December 27th, three days after the accident, Luann Fee Dawson was taken off life support. According to police reports, it took Anaheim police investigators four and a half hours to reach the scene of the fatal injury. Police Captain Sane said the initial call to the police from paramedics indicated no officers would be needed for what was described as multiple injuries. The first uniform officer arrived at Disneyland Security Office at 11.23 a.m. He never went to the scene. According to police reports, the first investigator arrived at the dock at 3.05 p.m. Prior to my arrival, the items from the accident had been removed and the area cleaned up of any blood and paramedic debris, wrote James Connolly, the forensic supervisor. On March 25, 1999, according to John Howard, Cal OSHA chief, the injured employee was never trained on specific procedures for docking the Columbia. She had never performed a docking of the ship prior to the one that led to this incident. The investigation revealed that the accident occurred because the cleat designed to hold the ship at the dock was not strong enough to break the vessel's forward motion at such speeds. This was the first death in Disneyland's history to not be attributed directly to a guest's actions. On October 5, 2000, Disneyland agreed to pay an undisclosed sum to the family of Luann Fee Dawson. The sum also covers injuries to the man's wife, whose face was shattered in the accident. The settlement was reached without a lawsuit. For more information, go to www.dldhistory.com.